This is going to be kind of like a rant. Um, and it's going to be a list of my pet peeves. For a minute, but we never crossed that line. Well, well, hand me the pen so I can do it. I can't help it because you're so damn fine. Number one, pet peeve. I can't stand when I am talking or when we're having, when I'm having like a heated debate or discussion with someone and they just keep cutting me off. They won't allow me to finish a complete sentence. They won't allow me to finish a complete thought. Like, don't be rude. Don't be disrespectful. And then you want to get mad when I start snapping at your ass and when I start going all, getting all 5150 on your ass and you got the nerve to call me crazy. Well, guess what? If you wouldn't have cut me off in the first place and I could have gotten everything, we wouldn't be having this issue, okay? Pet peeve number two. I cannot stand smelly breath. And about the shits when it comes to stinking breath, like I don't get like why would you be all up in someone's face when your breath stinks i know you smell that shit i know you do that and i can't stand weed smokers i don't like when weed smokers do not put gum in their mouth like after they get done smoking weed i had this incident that happened not too long ago this person smoked weed and they kissed me it smelled like coffee mixed with shit happy number three i can't stand bad body odor i cannot stand that like I never thought that people didn't know how to bathe they underarms like why are you musty why do you smell like the number 11 from Burger King pet peeve number four I never thought that I would add this to my pet peeves list but dealing with the recent um, encounters that I have had um, I don't like uncircumcised penises I find it very disgusting I find it icky that you have to even pull back skin to clean that shit. Hey, hello, you wanna play with me? If you're uncircumcised, please refrain from talking to me. Pet peeve number five. I can't stand a fucking liar. I might lie and say I, I didn't eat your candy when I really did. I'm not ashamed of my life. I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done. It's very rare that I am truly and legitimately shamed or shameful or feel shameful for the things that I do, the things that I do. Real is gonna recognize real. And regardless to if that person, and regardless to if that person it doesn't agree with you or not, they're gonna respect it. And you know, I'm a real ass person. And I can't stand a fucking liar because guess what? They're not fucking real. And guess what? They're not gonna appreciate the shit that comes out of your mouth. I can't stand that shit. Miss me with it. Pet peeve number six. I can't stand when somebody calls me crazy. Now, we all are crazy in our own little way. You know, everyone has some crazy tendencies. You know, I'm not going to sit up there and say that we don't because we do. But I do not like when a motherfucker calls me crazy just because I call them out on their shit. Like, I am not, like, this is why my dad tells me I need to lighten up a little bit. But no, the moment that I lighten up, literally, the moment when I lighten up and I try to be understanding, the more that they just fucking confirm that they're full of shit and the more that they, they just can freaking confirm that, you know, I'm really not the crazy. This is my alter ego when you know it's not even my alter ego. I am like this 24 seven. Like there's no turning down to me. Sometimes it is. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Oh, gosh. I really need to know Mosa. I really need to go get my license. My paper license just recently expired, so I have to go down to the DMV to, you know, anyway, that's never here nor there. I can't buy alcohol. It really is fucking me. Okay, moving on. People that call me crazy. If you're not my family, you cannot call me crazy. You cannot call me crazy because it is just going to make me pissed off. I am a Taurus. I'm a bull. You know, it's in my nature to act a certain way when you put a freaking red flag in front of my face. Like, I'm gonna act fucking nuts. Like, do not put a freaking red flag in my face and do not expect, and, and not expect me to charge at you. Like, that is the most insane shit ever. It's like stepping in the freaking bullpen, a bull's pen, and not expecting it to charge on you if you're wearing nothing but red. Like, there, that's no logic. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when people call me crazy, it's like, don't do shit. Don't do shit to piss me off or don't do shit that you know I do not like and then when I blow up on you, you want to call me crazy because in reality, you're the crazy one because you tried me. It doesn't make sense to you guys because I know it does. Pet peeve number seven. I can't stand a shit talker. 
I can't stand it. I can't st I can't stand the shit. The type of shit starter that I'm talking about is like one where you be talking about how you this and how you that and how you how you got how you got the good dick and how you got good tongue, how you got good this, how you got good that, how you got this, how you got Louis Vuitton this, how you got Louis Vuitton that, how you got Gucci this, Gucci that. But when it comes down to it, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Like you just talk shit. I can't stand a talk sh a shit talker. I can't I can't stand a shit talker, a shit starter. Like that starts shit because you're not real. I can't stand that crap. I can't stand it. like what is your problem? Like what is your beef? Like are you stupid or are you dumb? Pet peeve number eight. I can't stand when my fucking exes come back to me. Like don't try to check up on me. I can't stand when my freaking exes try to check up on me. Like just don't do that shit. Like I can't stand it. Like go on about your way. Leave me the fuck alone. I am not trying to deal with you. I thought we were cool. I thought we were friends. Bitch, where? Only two people. Matter of fact, there's only three exes that have the right to check up on me because they were absolute gems. Is one my first love. Two is Kenneth. And three is um my um ex Jose that lives in New York like those are the only three people that have the right to freaking talk to me all the rest of you shitty motherfuckers you don't have a right to talk to me when I get this note 7 in about four or five days when it drops again I am changing my number so if you do not have <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to contact me because you won't know my new number I can't stand manipulators I can't stand people that try to manipulate me or try to make me seem like I'm batshit crazy like I can't stand mind manipulators I can't stand people that fuck with my head like I can't stand that because I'm a straightforward person like I don't play I don't play around with games I do not sit up here and try to pretend like I'm something I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna sit up here and try to play mind games I like that's not me I do not like manipulators I do not like people that try to manipulate me into making me seem like I'm the one that's batshit crazy when I have all of the receipts to prove that you're the one that's batshit crazy I'm just the one that doesn't take your shit I don't like fuck boys because that's exactly what fuck boys do they manipulate your mind to make it seem like you're the one that's crazy when in all reality you weren't gonna tolerate their shit and they don't like the fact that you weren't gonna tolerate their shit so they try to mind manipulate your ass to make it seem like you're the crazy one but you're really not you're not crazy sweetheart don't tolerate their shit I can't stand getting my socks wet the most randomest thing ever but um I can't stand getting my socks wet I can't stand when a motherfucker cancels on me. I can't stand when a motherfucker says they're gonna do something and they don't do. Well, we we cool, ain't no bad blood between us. If you watching this, but you know, I can't deal with the shits. So, like you work my nerves. I got bad nerves. I got short patience. I don't have time for it. You either gonna come correct or you don't come come at all. I wanted to go to Taki um, because well, he offered to take me to Taki. He offered to take me to get some sushi after I had dealt with the situation I dealt with in, you know, New York. He was going to cheer me up and, you know, this is going to be cool. We're going to hang out. We're going to eat sushi. We're going to have fun. Blah, blah, blah. This, that, that. And last minute, like, literally the day of, he tells me that he can't do it because he has to freaking pay a bill or something. And, you know, it's just going to be a little too much. And Nigga, really? bitch lit and now you canceling on me like this is the third time that this has happened the third time that this has happened and then coincidentally something just automatically just fucking pops up i can't deal with that shit i can't deal with that bye can't stand a nigga that ain't got no car everyone can't afford a car you know i was blessed to um i was really blessed that my dad gave me his old car and um which is ruby and a lot of people might say that I, i'm spoiled i might be spoiled but you just mad because you're not spoiled you know i'm sorry that i'm really sorry but you know i'm not gonna feel bad for being spoiled okay you just want me to come pick your ass up or you can't even meet me at a certain place and you know I pick you up or something you know gas ain't cheap bitch okay gas ain't cheap motherfucker why am I coming to pick you up that shit just don't fucking look right it don't look right for a woman to go and be picking up a man 
My daddy told me like back in the day if he really wanted to go see a girl, he would catch a bus, he would ride his bike, he would do whatever he had to do or get a cab or something so that girl wouldn't have to come pick his ass up. Because that's just what men do. Learn from my daddy, learn from him. I can't stand a bum ass nigga. I can't stand a fucking opportunist. I can't stand that shit. There was one incident that happened to me when I was in fucking school and um, this dude talked to my friend, this dude talked to my homegirl or whatever, and he was trying to be all nice to her, knowing too she had done, you know, told me that he, she don't really even fuck with him like that because he's a fucking opportunist. He tries to play in your fucking emotions just to see what the fuck he can get out of you. And um, he was like, she was like, um, this motherfucker speaking to me and trying to get me to get him, give him a fucking ride and shit give him a fucking ride and shit and knowing too I don't get up on his ass like that like like he was just talking shit about you the other day he was he, she was just talking shit about you the other day and now he asking you for a ride bum ass nigga I hate a slow texter I hate it like it like motherfuckers don't understand it's a privilege to get my number Okay, it's a privilege to get someone's number. I don't just give my time to anyone. If I give my time to you, if I give you my number, that means I like you. I'm not going to give you my number if I don't like you. It's just not going to work. You know, I'm a very straightforward person, like I said before. I do not play with people's emotions. I don't play with people's feelings. I used to be a player back then, but I ain't one now. You know, so I've grown. I have matured. You know, I was a player back in in my high school days, but that was like six years ago. So you know, I is better now. But I'm. I don't. I don't like. I don't like slow texters. I don't like it. Like, if I text you, if I text you at two twenty eight, by the time two thirty five hits, you need to be hitting me back with a text message. Not freaking three o'clock. Not freaking 3.30, not freaking 4 o'clock, not freaking 6.30. Like, I need you to reply within a 10-minute freaking frame. When you do reply to me, just be like, hey, I'm kind of busy right now. You know, um, I'll talk to you later, you know, because I'm kind of a little busy right now. I don't really want to be slow texting you like that because I know that's really annoying. I can't stand when I tell a motherfucker what bothers me and they do it again. I give you one warning. My give you two second warning, but the third time, bitch, I'm lighting your ass up because you are obviously dumb. You're obviously thief. You obviously can't read lips. You obviously ain't got no common sense. I can't stand when I tell a fucker that something pisses me off and they do it anyway. You know it pisses me off. You know I cannot. You know this. Like that comes to number freaking um. 16 I can't stand being ignored like I don't like being ignored. I'm giving you my time Do not ignore me like don't ignore me because that's when you're gonna see the bull That's like waving a freaking red flag in front of me like hey I'm fucking ignoring you and I'm doing it on purpose I'm leaving your messages on red and I'm ignoring your ass like I'm doing it on purpose Like I can't stand that you know that shit box bugs the fuck out of me Like don't ignore me if you don't have shit to say to me just be like look I don't really want to talk to you we not really cool you know Deuces. That's it. You be real with me. Don't ignore me. Like, don't be a fucking kid. This motherfucker. Like, I can't stand it. Like, you, you tried to freaking play me. You tried to fucking play me. And I wasn't gonna let you play me. You tried to fucking play Simone. You tried to Cody the shit out of me. You tried to have a girl here in Macon that you thought was going to be your friends or benefits. And then you thought that you was going to go back to your little girlfriend in Valdosta and fuck her. Bitch, where? You ain't Cody and me. That's neither here nor there. Back to the video. I can't stand when motherfuckers try to make me feel bad about how I feel. Bitch, what? A puppy, you know, jumps off the back of a freaking um, car, truck, whatever, and he gets ran over. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, the puppy. And I'm just like, well, that bitch shouldn't have jumped off the fucking damn truck. And they want to get pissed off at me because I feel that way. What do you do that at? 
Like, let me have my emotion. Like, what is wrong with people in 2016? Like, it's so freaking hard for people to express themselves because motherfuckers gotta open up their mouths all the damn time and be like, you shouldn't feel that way. That's wrong. Bitch, no, it's not wrong to feel the way that I feel. It's not and I'm not gonna allow any motherfucker to make me feel bad about my feelings. It's one thing I had to learn when I was with my ex, like, he will always try to make me feel bad about how I felt and he will always come out his mouth and call me crazy and that's not cool. Like, I have emotions just like the next person. I'm a female, you know, females are a lot more emotional than guys, but it's not right for anyone to make someone feel wrong or feel less of a person just because they feel the way that they feel. It's not right, it's not cool. Like, who the fuck are you? Are you God, bitch, no you're not. That's my video of pet peeves. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. I hope you um, found it funny and all that type of stuff. I guess list some of your pet peeves down below. I'm pretty sure that it will trigger my thoughts to some more of my pet peeves and I'll probably make a part two or something. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, starting starting actually when this video is posted, which will be on Tuesday, which will be tomorrow on September the 20th. Um, starting this week, I will be posting videos three times a week instead of two times a week because with two times a week is just not enough for me and it's, I don't think it's enough for you guys either. Um, so from from on Tuesdays, on Fridays, and on Sundays, I will post a video by, by 1 o'clock, no later than 2 p.m. Um, I'm just trying to get myself better on a, on a better schedule. If you want to know anything about this hair, my contacts, my eyelashes, and my makeup, it will all be listed down below. This um, makeup video will be posted on Friday, and the Simone Speaks will be posted tomorrow, which is today. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I love you all so much. Thanks for all your support. We're almost to 20k and when we hit 20k, I'm doing a giveaway. But anyway, <laughs> so if you're not following me on all my social media, make sure that you do follow me on my social media, on my Snapchat, Instagram, and that's it because I don't really do Twitter or Facebook like that. <laughs> Who does? Anyway, moving on. Bye.